Hi, my name's Frank Quinlan and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Mental Health Australia. And today, Mental Health Australia is welcoming the government's response to the National Mental Health Commission's review of programs and services. As you know, we've all been waiting for this response for a considerable period of time. Uh, and I think it's welcome today that we can at last uh, put to bed some of the uncertainty across the sector and start to make uh, key plans and responses. Uh, overall, I just want to quickly highlight what I think are some of the main measures that are outlined in the plan. Uh, largely, uh, the government's response follows the general direction that was laid out by the Mental Health Commission's review of programs and services. So you'll remember that that report of some 750 pages made some 250 uh, recommendations across some key areas. Uh, the government's response today doesn't do a line-by-line -line response to the Commission's review, but really outlines the broad policy framework in which mental health reform will take place over the next few years. So the major elements include uh, developing a stepped care approach to services. As we know, there's a big gap between what can be provided by the GP and in the community and what happens when people get to accident and emergency. So we certainly welcome the, uh, the approach to stepped care. Uh, they intend to achieve that by uh, pooling some funds that are currently spent on a range of Commonwealth programs and pooling those uh, to be redistributed through primary health networks. So this places primary health networks really at the centre of a lot of these uh, reforms. That's both an opportunity and a challenge. As you know, if you attended our Members Policy Forum back in October, uh, there are some concerns about the capacity of PHNs to actually make those judgments wisely and well. They're very new organisations uh, and have, in many cases, limited mental health expertise. Uh, but the government, as part of its response, acknowledges that they will have to do some work around building the capacity of PHNs and we'll look forward to uh, working with them on that. Uh, the government also responds uh, to the e-health agenda uh, by looking at online services and programs and flags some important plans to uh, consolidate and bring together and make sense of uh, electronic health arrangements in the mental health space. Uh, we're not sure of the exact detail of what that means yet, uh, but again, I think bringing uh, e-health and online uh, mental health services into the mainstream of service delivery, making them a core component of our response to mental health issues is certainly something that's welcomed. The government also are responding with what they call uh, a whole of childhood approach or a whole of uh, school approach, so kinder to year 12 approach, an integrated uh, range of services for people who are, uh, of programs rather, uh, for people who are of school age. Um, welcomed, uh, I think, is the fact that the government have committed to finalising and releasing the National Mental Health Service Planning Framework. That's an important piece of work and we've said for uh, quite a, a long time now that we think that's an important piece of work that will help us to benchmark the sort of numbers and services that are available for people who experience mental illness. Uh, this um, announcement uh, estimates that there's some 690,000 people in Australia with severe mental illness each year and uh, some confirms our numbers around the uh, 250, 280,000 mark. Uh, of people who require uh, very specific and individualised and intensive support, so that's welcome. We also welcome the fact that the uh, government seems to be committing to including indicators in the development of the fifth National Mental Health Plan, and we know that's been a long time coming too, but we really do feel strongly that uh, unless we're able to have clear indicators um, marking out our progress of these reforms, it'll be very difficult for us uh, to uh, monitor our progress. In terms of the sort of gaps that I think uh, exist in the program, I think one of the things that we would have been uh, looking for more on uh, that we don't see is uh, around the peer workforce. So there's been a big push around peer workforce. Uh, instead, uh, the government talks about uh, a carer and consumer participation framework. Uh, we think that's welcome uh, direction, but again, we'll wait and see exactly what that means uh, in, uh, in practice. Um, because there's a lot of work, as you know, and some of you have done it, 
uh, the work on consumer and carer participation. But I think it's important that that's acknowledged up front as a major component of these reforms. The other acknowledgement that I think is very welcome and important is that sector transition is going to be important. So the announcement uh, today talks about uh, developing capacity, particularly around PHNs as I've mentioned, but also doing work across the sector uh, to ensure uh, stability of programs and services. One of the commitments that the government makes today is to provide certainty about programs and services for organisations that are providing them by December this year. Now we know that's been a, a long wait, uh, we know there's a lot of uncertainty and that that uncertainty has created impacts on uh, the very talented mental health workforce that's delivering services and programs. Uh, but nonetheless, I think if the government are able to provide that uh, certainty, as we head into what will be an important transition period, uh, if the government is able to provide certainty to people who are delivering those services, the people who rely on those services, then that will some be something that's uh, certainly very welcome. Uh, obviously we're going to do a lot more analysis of the uh, measures. Uh, I think it's important though to recognise that the government uh, do seem to have taken on the issue of systematic reform quite substantially uh, in quite a, 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 um, a vigorous way uh, and over the coming weeks, months and looks like years uh, we'll be working hard with the government to ensure that that uh, implementation ends up making a real difference in the lives of uh, people who uh, will depend on the programs and services and responses uh, that are part of this uh, package of measures that are announced today.